I was I was exploring around it and uh, I ended up formatting my system. Oh. Right? And if like my papa would go get to know this, I'll be smashed. Now, what are we doing? I would probably be singing. I would be a, I would be Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This demands more. One performance. Yes, 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 Definitely. <laughs>
learn by doing so i wanted to get my hands dirty so yeah and i was also like really but masters is like more theory right yeah uh, that that's true so uh, in my courses like i was studying transformers and power systems and induction motors and the physics behind it so uh, that was like really fascinating but on the geek side like, <laughs> what about you <laughs> i think the uh, choosing computer was a major major turning point in my life oh. right okay. uh, so i'll go back to my school time you know mm-hmm. i was always that curious person so we i think in our 600 we used to have electrolysis mm-hmm. as a theory right which was okay. being taught and i was always curious about it so i went back home opened the battery cell and got out the graphite okay. and, and was doing you know electrolysis <laughs> and, and, and then for me at that point in time acha water mein when i'm doing that oh i've collected hydrogen and now i'm in the test tube <laughs> that and now now when i look back i'm like what <laughs> Uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't relate but that yeah computer was a major major uh, you know choice which turned like how how did you get that computer like the curiosity in computer yeah so uh, i had started with so there was a uh, at that point in time there was a computer at home you know uh-huh. which has just come and like it was not very usual for everyone to have it at Correct. that point in time so uh, i had I was I was exploring around it and uh, I ended up formatting my system. Oh. Right? <laughs> and and this is like when I'm in eighth or ninth standard. Okay. And now I'm like, uh, if if like my papa would go t- get to know this, I'll be smashed. So what should I do? I went out and I was just asking a couple of friends. Then bar jo computer shops you would have, right? I, yeah. I asked them. Okay, acha. I ended up formatting what should I do? And it was XP time. Oh. So uh, I formatted. Ah, Windows XP. And, Yeah, mm-hmm. and I installed a new OS. I got the CD. You get, you get yeah, the CD yeah, from the shops. Yeah. I did it, but then. Oh, pirated wali. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, what happened? Install kia. Sound is not coming, coming. because oh. because at that point in time for your OS you need to have you know drivers to be installed. Yeah. And I am like, yar, sab kuch to chal gaya. Ye ye kyu nahi chal raha? And uh, I again I went to that shop guy and I I बोला भैया चल नहीं रहा है तो बोले आप system ले आओ मैं बोला system नहीं ला सकता आप बता दो तो बोले यार driver डालना पड़ेगा मैं बोला अच्छा driver की CD दे दो then he said ki driver is very specific to your motherboard, motherboard. to so, main bola are yaar ye kaise pata chalega to then i opened the uh, cpu and then i saw what's oh. the what is there Lovely. and then it got me into more curious i got more curious about acha ye kya hai there is a ram there is a hard disk and that's where you know i got into this journey of exploring computers so like computers was then from there onwards you continued with computers like no so at that point in time i was still in dilemma because matlab i used to score well in uh, biology and you know medical subjects so i was little you know uh, inclined towards i want to pursue uh, medical hmm. and i was preparing for that as well in my like 11 12th but then uh, i i realized ki that was more with respect to what the outer world is okay. but internally my curiosity comes from you know what i do with the computers okay. because matlab once i get into it i get to a flow zone wherein hmm. like you know until like 2 3 at night i'm just doing something or the other i was exploring you know torrent at that point in time <laughs> <laughs> so so okay. that's where i think a uh, lot of you know a switch happened so i think pretty both of you were like clear with that like this is what i wanted to do like you to i i still have this question in my mind like how did she come up with masters in third year because third year during my third year like i was like very free like i didn't know like okay masters why like i have yeah. seen people taking a lot of coaching and gate and blah blah shit but why do you even have to do masters when you don't know whether this is the subject that i want to do yeah. right because i don't have any experience like what to what for what then we have heard this terms like okay if you want to go to abroad like you know you take masters it will be fancy and then you'll get placed so the people's direction went to that point so i so when you told about that yeah. i was like pretty sorted with masters i was like wow like because if you yeah. if you know what you're going to going for then it's like yeah actually i i um, like being i'm being, being very honest here when i went to like my first day in bitspilani we like uh, in the first week i would say we had this course registration mm. where we had to choose our electives mm. and uh, you know a lot of like we had our core subjects and our electives so i got uh, embedded systems engineering that's what i was doing my masters in and while choosing electives i was in i was still in that research mode i had not yet decided whether i want to go to corporate or uh, you know want to go to pr- purely into research phd and all mm. so i was like okay let me do some nano electronics or some some fascinating thing i was 
looking at. But then I looked around people. You know, most people that had come for masters in Bitspilani was like they were, they didn't get a job or they got a not so good, like lesser salary in terms of placements were not good. So that's why they were doing their masters. Mm -hmm. For me, it was very different because I was really? like, okay. I was like really, really into research and, and well, my mindset was completely different. So yeah, people come and do masters, especially when you talk about M-Tech and ME in India, mm -hmm. right? They, they have their own reasons. A lot of people come for better placements. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of people around me, but... Like that most of them yeah. can relate. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah, but I was like more into the research end. But then, yeah, I ended up choosing electives based on, yeah, because uh, the seniors were like, oh, yeah, electives choose, karo, then you'll get placed because companies will look at these courses that you have done. So, yeah, so I ended up following some, someone. When you were talking about computers, like, is there any computer language that you got interested in or you were like, generally computers is like, wow, oh, computers. Is yeah, I mean, it was not a language, definitely. Okay. Like, rather... Initial years, mein Java, Java is what you used to have in like plus two, right? Great, great. So initially, it didn't make sense to me, uh, not at all. Uh, and but that to Java. <laughs> yeah, that, that to Java, right? And uh, to start with, I was, you know, uh, I, I was mugging up <laughs> a lot of places, right? In, initial, I think 11th ke computer ke exam. Ke liye. But then, uh, but I was more curious about what system is going on, right? Like, O OS, when I'm installing correct. the OS, when what I'm exactly? when I'm exploring around, okay, torrent where something is there, mm -hmm. right? Or maybe I'm exploring around, okay, acha hard disk me ko upgrade karni hai, how do I do it? Mm -hmm. So there's a mechanism, right? Uh, there's a master slave concept, correct. which 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 is there, and I learned it at that point. I I never knew about it. So as a word, I got to know that master slave hota hai. If I have two hard drives, mm -hmm. which one would it choose, choose for, for the the BIOS, BIOS would choose for the OS? And there's a just a pin that you'll have to enter in the hard drive. Mm -hmm. But it was not relating to the uh, studies that I was doing, right? right? right. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's how like there was an interest, but eventually then, you know, when I got uh, better mentors, you know, better uh, videos to check with, which was talking about how, how the computers are working or what this language is doing yeah. under the hood. Right? Yeah. And that's where I, I got more... Uh, interested in so he started at the board. system level yeah. and so slowly went like, to the application now level. his position also makes yeah. sense also. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he traversed like, all the abstraction yeah. layers yeah. Yeah. and yeah. went yeah. to application so like like basically like i just want to ask like you know like nowadays like if you see everyone everyone is a little bit scared like they are scared about what to do right because there's a lot of competition and especially like now though that chat gpt has come people are even started questioning like even People out from college, they started questioning, like, should I even do software engineering? Like, what is the use? Mm -hmm. Like, now AI can do everything. Like, should I take computers? Like, I've seen, uh, like, back, like when I'm going to my college, uh, so I, when I'm talking to my professors, they are saying, like, they're just taking degree. They're not even interested because they, do, they have lost that hope that whether they will be useful. Like, that competition has been so huge mm -hmm. and they are thinking that it doesn't make sense. So, like, in your early 20s, did you face some competition like this? Like, like whether was whether were like, you know, competition of like, should I get, will I get this? Am I capable of doing it? Or if I go out in the market, can I make a good decision of that? For me, I was not a software engineer. I was not, I, my discipline was not software engineering. I was studying embedded systems. Within that, I did study software for embedded systems. I got into program, like I was mostly doing C programming. So we, we used to have the Keel Microvision and we used to program microcontrollers, right. right? So I did assembly programming, I did C programming. So like completely at the system level. Uh, and somehow I got into this project about that I was like really fascinated with and it was a research uh, practice we had a course to, to be done under a professor and it was regarding IOT and uh, yeah it was like really interesting we built a vehicle to grid um, uh, implementation you know like electric vehicles they come to a parking lot and we had this whole embedded system to you know <laughs> What happened? No, no, this is like crazy. I'm like thinking like, okay, she built all of this kind of things. Like very, like that yeah. is like, 
we i am thinking about my college like i've not done any of these things like yeah, even i hadn't done i come from a tier 2 okay, college yeah. in undergrad uh, after i came to bits pilani i think i got those opportunities mm. yeah but the project was really fascinated i was like really interested in networking computer networking specifically and then cisco happened to visit our campus one day for a summer internship and uh, they had by chance they had also allowed embedded you know like cs and related fields to sit mm. but they were like mostly cs students so and my whole hopes were not that great i was like because we because in our branch they would mostly move to either core embedded jobs or vlsi jobs like core electronics so because embedded was kind of in the middle mm-hmm. you could go either way hardware or software so i was not like really sure and i did not study <laughs> dsa actually okay. and yeah so i had basic knowledge and i had uh, yeah so my but my Uh, i had studied for my projects and all so that was it and my courses so somehow i got in uh, through the mm, mcq and then the interview so round, competition right? was like no it was it was hell of a competition there was like you can imagine undergrad bits pilani cs students are competing and, and then masters was the same. <laughs> like what no competition like everything was smooth or is, was there any competition when you like when you started searching for jobs or when you are up towards the end of the college like did you face any competition or you yeah so for for me like uh, i went with off campus right okay. yeah so so they so they they they, they, like they no no so there was a lot of competition right uh, it's like as i mentioned uh, i was in jaipur right mm. so uh, it was more like a drive that a company was doing right and it was completely from you know all the different districts around in and around jaipur okay. so so that's the competition <laughs> that, that i was facing <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, 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 yeah. and with all of it what uh, they had chosen i think close to uh, i think two or only three people and and Oof. and and this drive was i think approximately around uh, 400 500 um. books so that that's the competition <laughs> it was so it was not smooth but yeah that's that's how i ended up so when you're talking about placements so you were like you were you decided that you will be going through the placement route like you had that thing no matlab i i didn't have that clarity but so whatever the placements that we were having at the college right to mm-hmm. matlab we were giving all the uh, interviews initial interviews etc that was happening but okay. then at that point in time you know since anyways like at that uh, that point in time it was like tier 2 kind of college no because my my uh, i remember in my college if you if you have to sit in placements yeah. you need to have the cgpa at 7 no, 8 cut off yeah so like i was like no i'm not capable of sitting in placement like there's no way the, so, i i never thought about it acha meko placement pe baithna baithna hai isliye matlab i have to do all of this okay. but then yeah matlab luckily i had cg yeah. cgp a little bit yeah. which, which was <laughs> eligible which was eligible yeah. that's yeah. good that's like like because i like for me it's it's completely different because there was like a strong cut off and because i'm coming from a tier 2 college right See, it was even more hard. Hardly there used to be some colleges, some uh, companies that would come. Yeah. They would be normally like TCS and all. Yeah, that. same with my undergrad college. Same, like, hmm. like no big Infosys big companies. Infosys and all. And yeah. even TCS, Info, all of these companies had a cutoff, like which not much of the many of the students could be, and there would be a lot of uh, you know discussion. That was the competition, like yeah. you know we always used to have, like how yeah. how do you even get. some position in this place yeah same same, yeah. same 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 piece matlab right okay the same God. was a competition but yeah so then yeah but then there were other people like this off com- off campus i'm 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 thinking about off campus situation like you know there are a lot of people who will stand in queue and they will uh-huh. be like like i also have to get then you have that jd rounds over there yes yes yes, yes. jd right? was also there yes. so but i think the initial screening was more like a test that was given okay. and that happened in college okay the, uh, and of which whosoever are selected they would be doing a drive and we have to travel and go mm-hmm. so it was more like that and test is what i called Like yeah. during this time, did you self doubt yourself? Like, did you have so much of self doubt? Like, am I? Will I do it? Is this is this something that I can pick it up or something? Yeah, like that? I think I think yeah. it happens to everyone. Yeah. Even yeah. even like if you were to say, uh, you know, even today, uh-huh. like people who have already made it to the their career, they might have self doubt. Every now yeah. and then, people do face it. But then, uh, so how did you like you overcome it? Like like how did you just went past it? Like. so i think uh, 
thought process of you know we giving an R more than hundred percent is more important than you know mm. whether whether would you get it or not, yeah. right? So uh, if if I were to go back to my story of you know I was little confused with the medical and then computers, mm-hmm. so it was same thing. Ki, okay, like if I uh, you know not choose medical, would I be able to do it in computers versus you know should I go ahead with medical etc. Mm. Because it's it's again uh, the system how how our education system is all designed as basis the scoring correct right? that's, scoring that's something i completely agree yeah, with yeah so, so now that like is, in medical mm. if, if i were to say right i was scoring well and i was like yaar theek hai i don't know whether would i do good in mm. computers or not yeah. but then what you feel right in your heart or yeah. what comes naturally to you or what you are passionate about if you do that you would definitely end up somewhere better <laughs> yes yes definitely for me as well like i had massive self doubt like especially the first semester in bits it was horrible for me because there was so much of competition all around and everyone was like people were literally fighting with the professors for like okay one two marks and and uh, please cgpa we have placements next year please please you know oh, and i was like i had completely different view of masters personally i was like okay i want to do research i want to i had all these lofty ideas in my head i'll be sitting in a lab and you know you know, just doing uh, what i have to do and yeah it completely changed and i was like okay there are so now it's like a premier institute so there are like these top minds in the country who you are competing with and it creates a lot of self doubt like i remember one of my like we had five subjects in a semester every subject had a project so in embedded system design there was one project and that is like a complete you can say you know we had to build a game and uh, on and you were not supposed to use arduino mm-hmm. and we built like a ping pong game or something and i was like not able to build because there was like so many projects okay. in parallel vlsi project and this something or the other was there and i just cried that day <laughs> that that on that pro- uh, when that game was not working mm-hmm. in that final and all that and i was like no i can't do this this is horrible so i think what happened with me in bits was first semester i completely broke down because i uh, seniors were like nahi 8 cgpa should be there to get to a good company and i got like 7.89 and i was like howling at my home and my parents were like what happened mm-hmm. i was like i can't believe like my Two points. I've missed it, and 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 they were like, "Why are you crying? We are not telling you anything." And I had this inflicted self pressure on myself. So I think what great thing that happened with me in bits was the first semester it completely broke me down mm-hmm. as a person, and the next semester it built me up. So next semester when I went in, I was like, you know, I got my hair like you know, I got short hair, and I uh, which I call kind of like my bad bitch look. I was like, I'm not gonna give an f about. what others are doing <laughs> what others are doing and how they are uh, you know competitive i'm just going to focus on my own work so i kind of became like a stoic so that is what i personally it was like it's like my comeback yes <laughs> this is my this is my year yeah so that that was my mode of thinking and yeah it, it was an artificial confidence obviously when you cut when you <laughs> yeah so when you cut your hair and when you do all these outrageous things, it is outside you are getting those confidence it's not internal but eventually it's you know you say fake it till you make it yes, so it was kind of like when i'm you know uh, doing all these external things eventually it catches up because i had to do it to protect my inner self yes. which had that self doubt and that mental health issues that i was facing i think, I think everyone goes through this like but it's it's how we overcome and how do, how do we yeah. build up how do we <laughs> yeah. so next semester i was only focused on my learning that okay i don't care about what other people are doing if they are chasing marks from mm. with the professor let them chase what does it matter to me i'll just do my work i'll let let the cgpa be whatever it is i'll just focus on the projects on the learning i think that's what really helped me so and that you helped failed, me get have you failed in any semesters like have you faced failures no uh i faced yeah i <laughs> not in no. sem- i didn't fail in a semester oh my god he has not faced <laughs> everything was perfectly fine Oh, okay. I think okay. attendance was a problem, definitely. Attendance, no, 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 no. But for what? I'm asking real failure. Like, have you flaw? Like, have you got backlogs or like, have no, you no, faced no, no. Co- like you know failures the, in college? The, the, the college failure. No. Okay. And you? No, I didn't get back or failure. Oh my god! Failure. So nice. No, like, but it's like perfect graph. Like because <laughs> I 
so i remember like <laughs> so this i was like so studious i was very studious when i joined my college um you know i used to wake up at uh, this morning 4 am and i used to study yeah. a lot but uh, there was this subject called graphics in computer science i don't know why they put it so we studied we studied uh, so this final you know the exam came got the marks and uh, there was one so supposedly he is my co-founder right now so he he teased me like ajo you flunked in graphics yeah, yeah. so he didn't he didn't even bother to check my marks also but he told like you flunked and i was like no way He's like dude i studied so oh. much <laughs> i said what how dare you tell that <laughs> right so and uh, actually it happened i got flunked and i was like what like how does that happen like how does that work like when you put so much effort like that failure came in and it was very difficult to take it up like because when you put a lot of mm-hmm. efforts yeah. right you put your 100% and yeah, like yeah. Yeah. and then you see a failure in front of your face you will be starting questioning yourself like should i put this much time should i learn now should i study yeah, i i, I do relate it hmm. to uh, school time rather okay. <laughs> i i had failed in my initial couple of okay, okay, this thing uh, yeah so i com- i can completely relate to it. it it happens and then you feel ki is it even worth it matlab itna sara mehnat kyu karna hai exactly and 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 then you start asking those deeper question ki why all of what is all of this for, for right why 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 are you doing all of this mm-hmm. so correct, correct. That, that comes up but then again you get back to the normal life and routine yeah so you guys have any strategies like like if there is any failure that has come like how do you what lessons like how do you you know rise up again like do you guys follow something like i am pretty sure in our career also we have faced yeah. many ups and downs right so many failures where in which we have put here so but how do you come back like do you have anything yeah for for me uh, usually i have been always you know uh, following some at least looking up to someone right be it like as an as a mentor or you know a uh, a figure to whom you know you look up to mm. this could be uh, and that can act as a motivate uh, motivating factor mm. right for you for example mm. uh, initial years you know i used to watch a lot of like steve jobs oh. and a uh, lot of uh, vi- videos around you know other other uh, tech stay hungry stay foolish yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the <laughs> the, 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 the famous commencement the, address exa- is exa- at stanford exa- exactly so when when you hear them right because if you talk about their stories yeah. they they act as an inspiration to you and then you feel ki your failure is a common part of yeah. you and that's where you get the inspiration but i think i think the failure part right like it is like the, like in our families and all right like uh, it, it's that not, is the problem it, it's yeah. not, yeah, it's, not it's looked as accept, something like something like, good I, i feel like that is a that is one of the problem that yeah. we're not ready to accept that, that's yeah, what yeah, happened yeah, that, that that's very true and yeah. that's where you know i had i had at least this framework for me where i have an exter- external reference hmm. ki okay matlab it works even if you fail it's okay because see uh in this life all of us are here for you know experiencing it okay. now unless until you don't try a lot of things you you won't get to it right matlab you you will fail you will also rise but that is not the point it's about experiencing things mm. so yeah so yeah especially in your really 20s i would say you need to fail, fail. Yeah, you need I, to I fail it's it's it is important it is only then will you yeah. be able to you know become a fully balanced person and understand okay this is this is life and you it's not balanced that. like i like i don't know like i'm asking like because i've never found that still at this point of time also like still it when it happens it for me uh, i think uh, i i read the bhagavad gita so in that they talk about karma yoga mm-hmm. in which a karma yogi is the one you know who does all who stays in this world mm-hmm. performs all his responsibilities does everything but is not attached to the actions and w- what are the results of the action so so basically you have that sense of detachment even if you have a family suppose you have kids you have your work everything you are doing everything but there is no expectation that oh something will happen and neither you should stop doing those actions so mm-hmm. that person like in bhagavad gita they say that that person actually gets the benefit of a sanyasi and that's also a path to liberation okay but that is like too spiritual okay. <laughs> what i wanted to <laughs> what i it's it's more of about right uh, karm karo phal ki ichha ha ha right? wahi like, like, focus on the actions right give yeah. your 100% 100%. result is not in your hand right? yeah exactly right? no i was going through your profile like like coming back to like you know so you had this uh, transition from 
Accenture, then to Deloitte, and now you are like into an academy which is like not so, you know, the normal journey. So it's not like that. So how did you make it up? Like because Accenture is like a totally service based company, yes, yes. and how did you grow from there? Like you know, how did you take it up? Yeah. So uh, again, I I'll go back to the point where like you know when you're passionate about something, mm -hmm. you know things will flow eventually so mm -hmm. but one one thing i would like to add like to the to this journey right what what changed few or few uh, you know pieces or few time time uh, stamps which had helped me you know uh, bet, better up my journey right so i'll talk about uh, when i was in accenture mm -hmm. so again i i didn't have any mentor so i was just looking exploring around and i came across harvard ka one course which was like cs50 it's uh, taught by oh, david chen oh yeah that's right? the best so, course there is yeah. Yeah. yeah so so that was the one wherein i thought ki yeah, okay college mein ya jo padha that was more theoretical okay. let me just go through it what is it that these people are learning right people mm. in harvard mit stanford right so uh, i just went through that course and i just did a commitment कि आई एंश्योर टू कवर दिस कोर्स अप राइट एंड इट इट इज़ अ ट्वेल्व वीक कोर्स एंड आई वॉज अब एबल टू यू नो क्लोज इट इन आई थिंक सिक्स टू एट वीक्स विद ऑल द पी सेट्स एवरी थिंग एंड वॉट आई यूज टू डू लाइक हाउ डिड यू गेट दैट फोकस Like how I, I I think it it was more about the hunger. I I wanted yeah. I wanted more of it. I wanted to know more, and I, I, there was a hunger of mm -hmm. you know I want to solve better problems, etc. Usually when you get into service based companies, you know whatever uh, task that you get or जो भी काम आ रहा है, you're just doing and yes, just yes. just That's done with it. Time, yeah. Usually like all of my colleagues, mm -hmm. they used to come back, they used to sleep, they used to go for party. But at <laughs> that point in time, you know I was very much focused around you know I used to come back around eight nine whatever. and then after like dinner and so i used to you know go through those courses co and cover up those pee sets and this used to go me like you know 3 or 4 am in the morning like so you didn't have that peer pressure like they are going for parties man nahi 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 no us us time pe because see, because those see you might feel some days huh. but then i found more interest into the problems that i was solving yeah. it, the, i think that's you, you, the hardest part to yeah. get that because it's a very hard part to decide like like i want to do this yeah because that life is also good right like yeah. because i want to enjoy that also but yeah here, but that yeah. is like oh, temporary so, pleasures yeah. Ah, yeah. those are all temporary you have to think long term like i think some, somewhere did some, somewhere well. I, i knew this ki yaar life mein na ek jagah aapko ghisna padta hai ha ya to aap college se pehle ghis lo and you get into iits yeah. uh, etc ya to aap college mein ghis lo you get better placements yeah ab i knew ki i made blunder there <laughs> right i was not there mm -hmm. right so then i knew ki theek hai now i at least i'll have to you know put yeah, in my hustle. my this thing mm -hmm. because i believe if anyone is at any uh, place right if he has reached you know some level of uh, better better place in terms of the work that they have done or the contribution that they have made in the industry they are it is because of a reason right yeah. they would have done something better mm -hmm. and that's why they are there mm -hmm. so so that that had stuck and again i was you know following around like see jobs and all of the these guys were always an inspiration mm -hmm. and the way मतलब uh, डेविड चेमेलन और सीएस फिफ्टी द वे ही टीचर्स मतलब दैट एनर्जी इट्स सेल्फ ड्राइव्स यू एक्चुअली दैट इज आई वुड गिव आई लव दैट व्हेन द फोन बुक ही हैड लाइक टर्न दैट फोन बुक एंड ही वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट एल्गोरिथम्स वर्क आई वुड गिव मोर क्रेडिट टू हिम रादर देन सो माइन वाज ओनली 30% ऑफ इट बट देन सो दैट दैट मींस लाइक यू काइंड ऑफ ट्रीटेड हिम एज अ मेंटर एंड यू ट्राई टू फॉलो हिम लाइक दैट सो मेंटर मेंटर प्लेड अ you know very big role in your life yes 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 to 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 look up to right yeah, and then yeah. then you made to transition to deloitte deloitte what you were working as yeah so deloitte again same software right and mm -hmm. uh, but but then this was little better than you know what i was doing at accenture uh, but then when i was doing that again it was more like service based and uh, mm -hmm. i had come across couple of people uh, or colleagues you know who were talking about working in product companies and they were talking about the problems that they are solving and things like that mm -hmm. so and i always had this thing initially when you start uh, you know you have this thing yaar khud ka kuch karna hai correct ki yaar main 2 saal kaam karunga i will learn how things work and then i'll make something of my own correct yeah. but then you end up in this trap of you know always working because every year acha something new you are learning yeah. right so that was always there and that's where i think i ended up joining zest money where matlab it was pure startup startup okay right mm. so so like and the transition was it smooth like 
it was not it was not it, it was not so again matlab when you do go so, to yeah. go to a product based company again uh, we were we were discussing Correct. just before the podcast uh, uh, dsa yes. algorithms all of it you have to prepare mm-hmm. and this thing so yeah mm-hmm. initially i went through the cs50 course and then when i was transi- uh, transitioning to the uh, startup uh, product based companies you know the interview process is completely different the service based company would focus on more of the language yes. semantics etc et hmm. right however uh, product based companies would focus on your problem, problem solving, solving ability focuses, and that would come lo- lot from the dsa and problem solving hmm. so i'd go on to the whole journey of you know starting from zero of uh, arrays tags queues etc right and going until like graphs dp so did you do lead code and all yeah i i <laughs> I, I, i did do that uh, <laughs> I was doing hacker, hacker, hacker rank, hacker rank and uh, lead code. मतलब mix match करा था. So that's where I ended up there. And but then I understood it's a it's a journey, right? Mm. It's not about कि यार आपको code करना है and then you have to you know mug up how the problem is solving. Mm. It's it's it builds up a thought process of how to break down a bigger problem set into smaller and then how do you solve it. Mm. So so that is what the product based companies are mainly you know looking for. Mm, he they it. they want people if given a problem statement they are able to break down and they are able to solve it Got so it. that that is this particular process is all yeah and that is language agnostic i would say yeah. a lot of companies you know like google meta they would have uh, interviews where your problem solving ability like they give they give the choice to the you know candidate which language do you want yeah. to code in mm. because the because if, if even when you join the company right they will train you in whatever language that the team is coding in for example if you don't are unfamiliar but those problem solving skills that is something you know that is constant whichever language you code in so yeah so that is i would say the main thing that students so, should focus on when you were talking about that service right service company like so like how did you know that like okay our product is better like product company is better like it's not i just don't want to work in service company yeah because uh matlab when i used to talk to a couple of people who were working in startups the, the problems that they used to talk about you okay matlab we are solving for this they mm-hmm. always had a broader picture of whatever What they are they solving are is impacting the end user mm-hmm. in real time mm-hmm. however in like you know uh, service based and little you know a little bit of mnc's whatever you are doing it has an indirect impact but you will never be able to experience it at least in your initial years of career hmm. right ki yeah. yaar maine aaj kuch code kiya mereko pata nahi hai wo 6 mahine saal bhar baad to deploy hoga aur uske baad mein bhi wo chalega nahi chalega i am not sure and what lives will it touch you will never know however in startup they were deploying today aur kal dekh rahe yaar is iske liye like this is the better uh, ed- addition that i did to someone's life hmm. so you didn't have that google facebook pressure like i want to get into google tha beech mein beech mein it used to come matlab yeah. i uh, google was always a dream company okay. right so beech mein it used to come that way but then like lot of my friends are in google right so yeah. then i understood like you know it's it's this journey of you know having the right uh, mindset about problem solving and that is more important for me like if you talk about fang right i reason i did not switch was because i had this strategic uh, i had been strategic about where i want to go like want to where i want to end up say 10 years from now not just like 2 3 years from now oh because years, <laughs> no <laughs> let me explain that is like it, it's more it's like, like an interview question yeah. where do you see yeah. yourself after no, no. Years? Well, like that no no not not 5 years i know <laughs> after 10 years 10 years also i know what no I'm no no that's not the point what i'm obviously one can only plan <laughs> but what i've meant was like i went into data center networking so, so i wanted it, so to know one sec sorry to cut like i think data center is not so known like can yeah, you explain yeah sure that? so basically how the internet works right you send suppose uh, on your terminal everyone must have done ping google.com right uh-huh. so where it it will show you which all locations your entire that entire communication house at like uh-huh. where all servers it has touched so that you can see that google.com uh-huh. on your screen right so that it is kind of like it's conne- it's what makes the internet uh-huh. it's what connects all of us and not just the internet you have private data centers uh-huh. which companies use or uh, 
uh, you know like in house like a lot of financial bank in sensitive information they do they do not have uh, they do not put it on aws or something on cloud so they have their private data centers so what i was into was the um, was the product so we uh, initially i was working on the storage side of it so we had cisco mds switches okay. which was building the storage area network so there you have an uh, initiator and a target and in between there is so the target is basically you call LUNs where the storage uh, actually the data is stored so uh, initiator is basically just a server server uh, it connects to a storage area network so when you have a huge network right like your hard disk is something you have uh, uh, you can just uh, like a uh, uh, limited amount of storage so in a storage area network what happens is that you need that flexibility because you don't know how much you know storage you'll go you're going to consume so uh, that's what I was working on initially that storage side of it but data center has three aspects so one is storage one is network and one is compute so compute is the LAN side you must have studied like TCP IP in college right, right? like Ethernet side mm -hmm. so that is what uh, I did next in my next internal transition mm -hmm. then now what I'm doing I joined this team in uh, November we are working on the compute that is the server side mm -hmm. so uh, we have Cisco UCS servers I work on a product called Cisco Intersite where which manages the entire uh, you know server uh, servers and I'm, on that I'm working on a specific feature but yeah, so what happened with each internal transition is that I wanted to understand how the internet works. How are actually all these calls being made and how we are all, you know, connected that way. So I think that was my... curiosity level was very high. <laughs> like, you know, most of <laughs> the people would be thinking like, how did she even think that, like, you know, that internet level, like, like that's crazy, like, it's... Like, yeah, what so I would say, you know, a lot of people, they see themselves and they are like, okay, let's just be another engineer, another full mm. stack engineer, another yeah. developer. I would say when you think in the long term, like, it's fine for a short term, for SD1 and into it's fine. What I, what I would say in the long term, right, you need some subject matter expertise. You need some domain mm. expertise. Okay. Because early on in my career, I met principal engineers, distinguished engineers within Cisco, who had like number of patents in their name, and who were like top shots. I, we, I actually met a guy who actually invented VLAN. Uh, in Cisco, he was a Cisco uh, employee. Uh, he, he was a fellow. He was like very senior, but yeah. So it was like you know meeting your heroes. Mm. So uh, and it was and the way they uh, uh, became at that level was because they stuck with one domain for a very long time. It is not just I, I'm not discouraging people to switch companies. They should definitely switch. Pay is important. Everything is important. But I would say. Uh, uh, be in a domain, try to build subject matter expertise. Like if you are into something, right? Like suppose you are into ed tech, like try to go what, uh, what are the problems you're solving for the customers? What are your customers' pain points? Empathize with them and try to get a bit in depth, not just be another full stack developer, another back end developer who can do everything. You know, because there are like so many in the market. So after a couple of years, when you'll be five, six years down the line, you'll be fine. You'll be like, there's so much of competition because I don't have something unique to offer. I think that's what is lacking. Like, because, you know, like now the now the term of full stack development, like basically that is, I don't think so. People are getting, understanding what the term itself is, right? Because I find people like, okay, full stack. I know front end, I know back end. Yeah. But what do you know f at full length is not still... Yes. It's a bigger question mark. That's why I, I, there's a lot of transition. Like in, in our, when you go back to our early age, like when we were entering into career, people were very focused. Like yeah. I know front end and front end yeah, end. either back end. Yeah. And I know it at full length, right? That, this is what I can do. But then it changed because the job demands became, so everyone started taking into like, okay, now it's all about full stack. But you know, when you ask people full stack, what is full stack? They're like front end and back end. But what do you know? It's like yeah. halfway through, right? Yeah, like, I, I completely agree to this. Manlab, currently, if you were to see someone saying full stack, and no offense to anyone, mm -hmm. but then uh, they won't have expertise into one field. And it's a double-edged sword, Correct. right? Uh, it's So it comes up with its own benefit, which is, you know, uh, you having a visibility on how things work at back end mm -hmm. or how things work at front end and the integration becomes very, very easy, easy. right? Yes. Because mm -hmm. you are able to think through the interfaces, APIs better, yeah. right? However, uh, what I believe or basically, you know, uh, a front end engineer should have expertise into at least one domain completely, completely. and knows about the other, other, other domain to, to some extent. Some. 
right mm-hmm. because that that's where the actual uh, juice right. lies I, i think this is the exact thing like i think people should know that like it's full stack just doesn't mean you have to be the master of everything like i i term it as like you either be a friend in full stack or yeah. either either be like a back end full stack okay. which means that mm. you go in depth to one perspective with your back end of friend yeah. but at the same time you can handle the other stuff yeah. so that you become like more like I, i think that perspective will put you more it will give have you have uh, higher chances of getting more jobs yeah yes, yeah yes, definitely yes. because uh, otherwise you are doing justice to neither yes right because yes, aapko yes. bahut superficial knowledge of back end hai aapko superficial knowledge of front end hai now whatever you will develop will not have you know much much depth kind of you know the development or or, or the engineering that you are doing would have mm, correct correct like think i think that's the thing so i like again like in your mid 20s like where where when you were in the career like did you establish any kind of networks or did networks play a bigger picture in your you know career yeah definitely for me i was always like Up, you know i was like go, going to principal engineers talking about research ideas talking about okay what they are doing i was like really curious even in my internship right i used to just walk into cabins and like okay could you tell me what what they are doing or like what is what is this team doing can you just explain me because like i, I was like always asking questions and uh, yeah so that helped me build a lot of network and also it made sense like as an intern right when you join a company or the junior most mm-hmm. you don't know what this product is what, where is it fitting into the big picture you have a very small view you you are given a your project to work on and you, you have a very small idea about what it is but only when you network with other people when you talk to other people what they are doing and what everyone else doing you get the uh, you know uh, understanding of how the system is working so after 5 years now in in the data center domain i have now a fairly decent idea about how data center at least works but there is so much beyond it within if i talk i, I i've only worked in cisco so i only talk about my company so it has service provider it has enterprise it has webex and collaboration and and uh, now they are doing a lot with ai and mm. yeah so there is a lot going on but yeah once only when you network you go out you talk to people is when you kind of get an understanding how is the company making money how is how are what our customers are expecting from us and are we able to deliver and yeah so there that's when i felt like mm-hmm. i have really uh, okay. networked like, in that you, sense you have you got a job or some preferral because of your network power yes, yes. so so i realized the power of network once i got into a job uh during my college i had no idea when the vibe was more of ki theek hai ya khud men had group group of friends etc <laughs> but then uh, it was so moving from service based to product was all because of the benefit of the network right mm-hmm. some i i was talking about i talked to a couple of people mm-hmm. who were talking about kya product mein hum is type ki problem solve kar rahe hain we are doing all mm-hmm. of this right it was it was because of that network right so is it like you have some linkedin connection or is it like in your college within your college you met some seniors who already is working in company like how does how is that uh-huh. network ha so, uh-huh. so college me i and i never leverage the uh, college network college to network. say and i never understood the importance of it mm-hmm. but then once i got into the job right so to start with i always uh, talked to lot of my seniors right as as asta was also mentioning right talked to lot of seniors about you know how their journey has been right what are the mistakes that they did what 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 is it that i can you know improve on or what is it that i should focus on right that's what got me better in my career and additionally they connected me to couple of other folks and that's how the network you know ended up building up and uh, that's where i ended up meeting couple of folks from the product as well mm. and and that led, led to the transition to product based companies so right yeah. Yeah. so in linkedin and also basically do you still get so once you built up that network like will so now if you want to transition like how do you make use of your that network like do you directly go to speak there i have we have this bits ka alumni site so there we have that alumni network and also like we have a lot of strong uh, i i bank a lot on college network we have like witsians everywhere all over the world yeah so that really helps yeah i would like yeah but uh, apart from that i also do a lot of i'm like fairly active on linkedin like 5000 plus followers i have but it was like it built over time because i love writing i love writing about especially i love teaching and uh, i have this passion about helping early in career professionals not make the mistakes that i made so that's why i'm quite active on linkedin i keep 
posting yeah so a lot of network came from there as well but yeah uh, uh, somehow the brand did help me yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, i completely agree to this right to great extent like what tier 1 colleges uh, or tier 2 tier 3 colleges like how they are different mm. is because of the network so i i have a lot of my friends now uh, from iits as well and iits as well right the the major difference that i see is you know the network that they have which is of their alumni right? yeah so uh, because f- during our co- like if i if i were to talk about my college right i i was talking about i i did not have mentor which mm. who can guide me but uh, if i talk to you know couple of uh, my itn friends what they talk about is yeah year one say they have their seniors you know who are mentoring them Mm-hmm. And, and to whom these guys can reach out, and that's where the life of an IITians or an IITians is very different from you know s- s- someone from you know tier two, yeah. tier three. So that's that's where I realize the power of network and you know the men- mentorship helps, mm-hmm. and and then leveraging it during the career definitely helped. Like so, so now that you have seen a lot of, you have gone through a lot of uh, career up skills, right? Like. so throughout this time like if like seeing both of your profiles profiles like sd1 sd2 sd3 you are still climbing on and here you also have like senior engineering manager like it's wonderful to see that progress but how did you like what is, how when did you get the time to upskill like you have to do that upskilling also right like what's do you think that is important and how yes, how yes definitely it's it's, it's it's very important so i started my career as a system developer so i was working with c and we have this nexus os in cisco it is built on top of linux kernel but it is like our own operate like a proprietary operating mm. system that runs on the data center switches so i was building i was i was working as a developer i was mostly working on bugs and i kind of didn't like system programming as much i realized it later on because i was like oh some core f- dump is there now i have to do gdb and like ah it was like like system programming is like requires a lot of patience lot lot of patience and i i stuck it out i did it for two and a half years and after that i was like i want to move to application i actually within those two and a half years also any time there was an opportunity because my manager saw that in me that she loves uh, you know taking mm. on new innovative projects i had done it in my intern as well so he used to give me those application uh development projects but mm-hmm. as a team we were a system uh programming team so uh, yeah so i started off as that but after two and a half years i was like no i want to move, i want to become a back end developer so that that's where i needed to upskill so that's you you went through any courses or something like that or yeah i i actually i um, uh, like i i studied a bit like online only oh. uh yeah and and i tried to Uh, understand how back end development works how application like i had a bit of experience like in my 6 month summer intern i built a full stack web application with another intern like i was mainly working in fact that time was working on the front end part and i had no idea like, we were just given this project and i was i had no like mm-hmm. background and literally i took one week just to figure out what uh, you know uh, framework am i going to use then i finally uh, came that okay react because that time uh, it was back in 2019 angular versus react was going on yeah. and i was like what is the easiest to learn no. so that was how i chose <laughs> banking one what is <laughs> what is the yeah. easiest what will get me the work done <laughs> and bot that mehnat kar li agar main career mein aap kuch aasan bata do aap aasan bata do seriously and uske baad bhi okay i had to build a dashboard okay to maine github maine google kiya wo wo repository somehow mujhe mil gayi jisme dashboard wala bana what i meant was reverse engineering <laughs> reverse engineering because usme kuch nahi tha jo mujhe chahiye tha to completely revamp karna tha usko okay you found it at the last matlab wo nahi dashboard to tha but wo mera mujhe jo banana tha wo nahi tha to i had to acha theek hai pie usme usme na sare wo wo nahi hote jo demo dashboard jisme sare wo buttons rahenge sare graphs rahenge to pick and choose karke maine kaha wow ye to ye to game ki tarah hai this is really fun ye button 
लगाना है तो ये फंक्शन ये करना तो ये एंड एंड रिएक्ट वॉज सो फन आई मीन हर चीज का कॉम्पोनेंट है and then to managerial management no no i i was i was lead and yeah lead yeah correct so how do you make that progress like it's yeah yeah so uh, your question was ki whether like upskilling is important yeah. i i completely agree to this matlab i think it is really really important and it's it's a continuous process it's not you know ki yaar mere ko kal kuch karna hai to main aaj baith ke pad raha hu matlab for example like i'm studying for one month and then you know i did upskill and then i move it's not that every every other day or you know you have to upskill be be ready with you know what's going in the tech world etc mm-hmm. so uh, i was talking about cs50 is what i started that's where that's where i upskill there right but then like when you took cs50 you got a good job right yeah, yeah. pretty good job you're happy and everything is going good mm-hmm. then you have that sense of ha ah, now i'm comfortable like that feeling you'll get right mm-hmm. in that feeling mein how do you do the subs get out of your comfort like, how, zone how basically ha to wo jo feeling hai see it will be there for some period of time definitely okay. and it's it's a time for you to give you yourself a dessert right. right a treat for yourself yeah for a break le lo but then after some time you will again have that hunger mm-hmm. yeah because when, when you learn something right you will get to know oh this lot more to learn so it's it's more like you know initially your vision is very narrowed hmm. and when you start learning your vision starts opening up yeah. and when when that opens up are yaar ye bhi hai are yaar ye bhi hai <laughs> that's where you know you get into a habit of yaar kuch na kuch kuch na kuch you are learning more and more yeah. and more and you start experimenting you keep on learning got it so but how did you go through that management ladder like because you are sd2 and then you became lead so till that time you were doing hardcore coding or maybe you would technical, technical uh, stuff yeah. right so as individual contributor yeah. to so, managerial yeah, that one. like basically how did you know that okay now to like i have to do this because there uh, is uh, i'll uh, uh, be like i'll be very candid <laughs> I'm still in dilemma of you know the <laughs> managerial versus an IC, okay, right? Because uh, I am someone for whom you know engineering is more natural to me, and that comes more natural. So uh, I think two days back I was going through the code of uh, kernel, okay. right? So OS का जो kernel होता है कि how you were talking about the yeah. TCP connection, right? So how the TCP connection is being built is what I was going through. Mm-hmm. So 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 though it doesn't need कि यार मेरे को कहीं पर और जाना है इसलिए मुझे पढ़ना है. but that curiosity always mm. you know keeps uh, makes you you know learn more and more but with that with that i, I like i i also like whenever i am going through right at one point of time like you will also feel that like too much like ha ha bahut ho gaya agree to you take your breaks okay. matlab don't yeah. be very harsh on it mm. see it's not about a race you know you have to reach somewhere because now now it's considered like that because everyone is everyone is on the like oh this guy did this much like i will also and the it's, post, an, it's a it's a never huh, ending uh, yeah so if you're fighting with game. like you're competing with others it is never ending mm. i would say always keep the competition with your own self right, like right. i have to get better than my previous self exactly. if that is your mindset now nah, then i i don't think competition should uh, i know we are in this you know indian society where bachpan se hi acha bachcha bade hoke kya banna hai like that's the first question we ask a small kid before he even has an idea to think about you know and experience different things but i would say that seriously that needs to change in our education system we need to try different things fail at them and maybe then you know choose a different path like for me maybe it was like okay choosing software engineering i i was uh, or um, even in during my master was like a bit confused what specialization to take and all those things so yeah so it was like i would not say i had a very like you said no she had a very clear idea what 10 year i have to do this this i was like uh, okay the point of life is to you make a plan, plan but things don't always turn out that linear that how it works but it is always good to plan but at the same time you have to try things to figure out what you want to do yeah i agree to her point uh, so I was talking about यार you need to be passionate. अभी mm-hmm. most of the people have this question कि यार how do I know what is my passion? Yeah. Ninety to ninety five percent of Correct. people are not even aware yeah. of यार मेरा passion क्या है, right? So uh, I was going through one TED talk and uh, there was a lady she was mentioning about कि मतलब unless and until you don't try multiple things you won't know what exactly. you want your passion is. Exactly. Exactly. So the same thing you'll have to fail. It's it's not about कि यार मेरे को succeed करना है इसलिए I have to do lot of mm-hmm. things. 
इट्स अबाउट ट्राइंग लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग्स एक्सपीरियंसिंग इट एंड देन यू फिगर आउट यार अच्छा दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके लेट मी कीप डूइंग दिस एंड योर पैशन माइट आल्सो नॉट रिमेन सेम सेम एक्जेक्टली एट डिफरेंट एज इट विल बी डिफरेंट एवरी डे एवरी मंथ एवरी ईयर यू नो वी आर ट्रांजिशनिंग वी आर मीटिंग न्यू पीपल वी आर हैविंग यू नो न्यू थॉट प्रोसेसेस व्हाट इफ इफ आई वर टू टॉक अबाउट यू नो मी माय सेल्फ 3 इयर्स बैक द वे आई यूज्ड टू थिंक versus we are no, thinking yeah. or my perception around different things have changed yeah. it changes every every other year yes. right so to unless until matlab one one thing if i were to tell the audience right is you know if you are in your early years just try as many as things many. as possible yes. not with the thought process of having results yes. but theek hai yaar just to have fun i would say having that bachcha wala thought ha ki let's have fun let's try this out let gets our hand dirty that's i would say so like all this is very career like like yeah. like you have been to so many startups or maybe like all these mnc's but have you ever thought about like you want to do something else like something different like at this point of time like i want to build a startup maybe i want to be starting now like have that thought come in your mind yeah a lot of times i have actually done a lot of st- stuff so in cisco i joined toastmasters club like mm-hmm. i, I get in got into public speaking and that's when i i realized oh i love hosting events so mm-hmm. every event i was mm-hmm. used to happen like area level district level in we have that in toastmasters right i i was like the host and i was like okay this opportunity and you know interacting with the audience and engage and i was like yeah this is like really fun i want to like host and uh, do interesting things but yeah, this not like a career, career. move it was like just a, uh, it was just yeah interesting thing to do and yeah so in between i started writing on linkedin so then i was like okay i want to write a book i want to write about my experience in my 20s actually oh, about oh, yeah oh. so i was thinking about that so i'm probably i will write it oh. I, i'm i'm still yeah, in the so process <laughs> I I I started blogging on this podcast into book. <laughs> summarizing the podcast into a book. No podcast would need one blog post. Oh. अरे अरे ये तो छोटा सा है जो तुम कर रहे हो. अरे यार तीन घंटे की whatever one and a half hour or something is वो के लिए book थोड़ना चाहिए वो blog post तो वहाँ medium पर blogs लिखा फिर LinkedIn पर कर मतलब tried other things beside my or or you know doing if going on a personal level like doing solo traveling so mm. if in covid when we are all at home and there's no you know socialization okay let's go backpacking let's explore and let's you know sit on a beach and work <laughs> you know work from beach instead of work from home so that was also there <laughs> so that that time i was like okay what am i doing like do i want to just be here to maybe take a sabbatical i don't know <laughs> like i was like still figuring it out like okay yeah is this is that thought because like now i've got something in my hand like so some people tell like like i've got now i have money right and i've reached this point like do you because of that now i can take you know a next step like maybe like is it doubt money also I, my mindset was like that like in my masters also yeah i wanted to do my masters because i was interested in research but at the same time i was like really into philosophy and i i kind of wanted to do something with that and like uh, yeah so i was exploring some different domains but yeah i ended up yeah. doing it in engineering cool. because i loved i i loved working like hands on stuff but yeah uh, it was not never about that money i would say for me personally Uh, like even the reason i did my masters was not the money part it was more about the research and i wanted to get into a premier institute mm-hmm. i think that was really important for me to get that brand at that time okay. and uh, yeah so that was what drove me i always feel that money is a by product because the reason i did my like got in my intern like i had no clue all the other people like we were like five interns selected i was the only non cs person in the entire group to get selected i had no clue like what like how do you get that thought process that money is a by product because i, I like, yeah, because, like it because, is. because like you know for most of the people if you are the best at what you do mm, okay. 
automatically people will I give you that uh, money that, to yeah, get yeah, I, I would like to add to this right this might not hold true always matlab for example people might like lot lot of people might be in the position wherein you know financially they right. might be yes lost. that not, is not, not that is another position. another lot, case lot of people are not right yes and that in where, that that's yeah, where they have to think yeah that's where they are very much you know craving for ki acha what best that i can do in my career so that i can earn money yeah actually At the end of the day, all but of yeah, actually even money. following your passion is a luxury yeah, if yeah, you are living in a third yeah, world yeah, world yeah, country yeah, correct, correct. and when we have you know people who are in those dire situations who have to earn for their families it is a luxury to no, think about passion i have heard like nowadays when i'm talking to students and when i'm when i'm interacting with their students like like what when i ask this question like what's your motive of becoming a software engineer now it has been termed as like money yeah it's, it's, it's like money. i'll get 15 lakhs i'll get 20 lakhs that like sudden yeah. shot of money a huge amount yeah. of money so at, I, at yeah. the end of the day all of us are working mm-hmm. for money Correct. right you are just trading your time for money mm-hmm. right and then when you know ki you know if i do x i will earn you know this much amount of money versus if i do y i'll earn more mm-hmm. everyone would want more right but the, but but what i see is like you know that reason of why you are studying mm-hmm. that lo- that motivational factor is money but yeah. then you're not improving yourself like huh. because of which okay i reached at 9 lakhs then you're stuck So that's that is that, where that is where why I said think long term uh, try to build a domain uh, expertise you have to think 10 years from now meri market ki value kya hai not just ki 2 3 years from now ha uh, matlab regular upskilling right you were talking about if you if you, even if you do that yeah theek hai man i reach 9 lakh how can i make it 15 how can i make it 20 how can i make it 25 right so it's a step by step process aisa nahi hai yaar 9 se एक सीआर पहुंच जाएगा सीआर राइट नो बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दैट इज द थॉट प्रोसेस दैट पीपल हैव इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग लाइक यू नो लाइक इफ आई बिकम अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर गेट रीच 25 लाख देन आई विल रीच नेक्स्ट अप लाइक इट गोस ऑन बट एवरीवन द वे आवर सोसाइटी इज स्ट्रक्चरड इज इज इन अ वे कि यू नो एजुकेशन सिस्टम ले लो इट्स एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर राइट कि आप अगर इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग वेल देन यू प्रमोट टू 9th क्लास 10th क्लास इट्स इट्स अ हायरार्किकल स्ट्रक्चर राइट जब वेन यू गेट इन टू कॉलेज फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर उसके बाद में क्या प्रमोशन मिलेगा आपको जॉब मिल जाएगी विच इज विच मीन्स अ टोकन ऑफ यू नो यू आर एबल टू अर्न मनी नाउ वेन यू प्रमोट वेन यू गेट प्रमोटेड तो भी यही है तो इट्स इट्स अ कम्प्लीट रेस विच इज नेवर एंडिंग मतलब आप अगर सीईओ बन जाओगे ना देन यू आर रिपोर्टिंग टू इन्वेस्टर्स टू बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स तो वो वैसा है राइट सो सो दैट इज दैट इज वॉट इट इज एंड द होल सोसाइटी इज स्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर मनी right it's it's more economical in that sense and th- this is you know wired in the brain bachpan se to to then everyone wants to optimize yaar kyunki like if i have more access to money i'll have better better life, life. that that's how we will think mm, correct mm. and no, we, when i was talking about money like have you ever thought about making some passive income like you know like nowadays nowadays people like recently also i i talked with a college person who was just getting out and he was like uh, so i was like what's your next plan like what's why i'm i'm making money because i i've built myself right so and then he was like okay i'll do my college maybe i'll work for another company but at the same time he has that passive income that is growing so what's your opinion about like do you guys had something like passive income on the side with some side hustles or kind of thing um i no. didn't uh, I, i think only thing i did was with cryo itself i was a career mentor <laughs> okay. that was the only thing <laughs> that that was and and that more than uh, for that money part that was more for me at that time i was going through something like a low phase in my career mm. and i wanted to feel useful i wanted to help people right. and i since i was down i was like I was in a toxic situation at work mm. but as soon as I helped someone or someone was looking up to me for career advice or I was able to help them I felt this amazing feeling you know so that is how I got to know that I really love teaching I love mentoring so yeah so that was the One. goal and again again this was a by product the money was again the by product mm. so Uh, with side hustles yeah that is the only thing i i, I have not done i think any side hustles i, I know people uh, like in my friend circle who are like really into stocks and yes. all and uh, like my friend who's now uh, i know a friend of mine he's in google but he also he's like building some he first learned stock trading now he's building yes, a software, software that does does the stock 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 trading for him and generates that money and then he has yes. this uh, exit routine written oh. that okay if uh, five times this will not this not giving the 
the profit then you exit yeah, <laughs> and i was like oh my god yes. <laughs> and that's amazing and he's making like huge amounts of money mm-hmm. and i was like yeah this is like <laughs> software plus, plus stocks plus software. all that there you yeah, found yeah. the perfect match so i was like really fascinated okay. it's like yeah go for it if you are like if you have that talent talent what about you like nothing yeah. much well uh, this thought has always been there right how how can you you know uh, have some alternative sources mm. and so so that matlab the i think the current trend in the market is also going about becoming financially independent yes, yes. that's why fire, fire number and correct, all of it so that that was always there as a thought but matlab i never did it i think rather i invested a lot of my time into learning new things yeah. Yeah. right yeah. Uh, maybe this could be you know Uh, financial stuff this could be uh, you know, something related to your personal life right building networks building uh, you know relations etc hmm. right yeah. so so going through those is something uh, which i invested more time into got it so now that you have reached over here right so have you thought about like you know retiring early or something like that or you want to still you know continue working like this like what's your plans uh at least i think of maybe retiring early oh, okay. uh yeah i i was talking to you about right uh, two years back okay. i went on a trip and yes, you know yes. that, that that's where another you know pas- passion yes. about you know traveling and mm-hmm. knowing more like those experiences you know uh, got ignited okay. so so would want to do that yeah i think like that that journey that he was talking about is like yeah. really good like Yeah, you, he's an adventure junkie. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you should you should talk about your yeah, travel. Yeah, you should tell one story. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's talk about his adventures. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was talking to you about the Spiti trip, right? Ten ten days ka circuit that we did from Chandigarh mm. to Chandigarh, and it was completely unplanned. We we didn't know ki where will I be next day, right? <laughs> where will I stay? And uh, and Spiti, if if you were to see, right, it's a tough terrain Correct. to you know even drive or ride. Mm. And uh, there there were a couple of you know villages which are you know at the extreme extreme of the like in Indian borders, mm-hmm. right? And uh, they would not have network. Mm. So so I remember we were uh, going near Kui village, mm-hmm. and uh, or. I am not able to recall the exa- exact name of the village, but then we reached around, you know, in the, at night around uh, eight or nine, Good. and it was pitch dark because there's no network, th- no lights in these villages and things like that. Uh, still, they run, you know, generators, mm-hmm. and they go uh, 25 kilometers back in the city somewhere to get, you know, the petrols and all of all of those stuff. So we we reached around eight nine and uh, to our surprise we got to know there is a meditation <laughs> camp that's going on, <laughs> no, <laughs> and, and we cannot find a stay because we, because this was unplanned. There's a lot of thing we we don't know when we'll reach and you know uh, where will we stay. So we thought that we'll reach there, we'll figure it out. Kya kama stay karna? Usually we find places. So and uh, that's where uh, we didn't have any place. And then there there was there was one uh, um, restaurant or cafe. and on top of it they had you know some rooms for the stay uh, but they mentioned ki yaar it's getting uh, free tomorrow morning oh. now now we reach at night and uh, they said you can try another village oh. and we bola yaar raat mein itna dark ho gaya and we we have already drove so long and it's so uh, you know so tiry pata bhi nahi hai wahan wahan pe milega nahi mikar milega because most of the people were saying ki yaar there also it's occupied and bola yaar kya kare तो देन जस्ट टॉक टू दैट कैफे कैफे गए क्या अरेंज करवा दो कुछ तो कुछ तो करवा दो भैया बहुत दूर से आए हैं तो देन ही सेट कि यार वो तो कुछ नहीं कर सकते देन आई जस्ट थ्रू अप एंड लर्न आइडिया कि भैया हम यहाँ से हो सकते हैं तो बोले भैया आप गेस्ट हो आप कैसे मतलब दे आर वेरी स्वीट पीपल राइट तो आप कैसे फिर देन बोला अरे हम सो जाएंगे आप उसका टेंशन ओके विद इट तो फिर उन्होंने बोला कि अच्छा हाँ ठीक है देन ही अरेंज ऑल द ब्लैंकेट्स बिकॉज लाइक ही हैड ऑल द रूम्स वी वी स्लेप्ट देयर सो योर प्लान इज अर्ली रिटायरमेंट एंड देन ट्रैवल ट्रैवल या ट्रैवल ट्रैवलिंग बिकॉज आई मेट लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल एंड द एक्सपीरियंसेस दैट दे हैव राइट आई थिंक द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ लर्निंग Uh, or enriching your life experiences through learning through other experiences like yeah. your own experiences that's true so, so like uh, one more thing that i wanted to like you know like so now that like now you have reached like i think like a lo- late 20s right like so i'm 30 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so <laughs> he's also 30 okay so like now if you want to give our audience like if you, if someone ask you like you know to reach at your level 
what is what are the things that you need to do in order like ma- matlab main to ye bolunga yaar kyun pahunchna hai why do you want to you know matlab follow ki yaar mere ko corporate ladder and all of it rather mm-hmm. i would say yaar do something matlab see whatever are your basic needs mm-hmm. राइट इज फर्स्ट यू ट्राई टू कवर अप बी इट योर लाइक फिनेंशियल हो गया आपकी फैमिली रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज हो गई यू ट्राई टू फिगर आउट अ फ्रेम वर्क विच वर्क बट वंस दैट इज डन देन डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू या या डेफिनेटली फॉर मी ऑल्सो सो इफ आई लुक एट यू नो स्टीव जॉब्स एंड आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉन्ट बी स्टीव जॉब्स एंड आई वॉन्ट टू फॉलो एग्जैक्टली वॉट यू डिड ऑब्वियसली इवन इफ आई हैव द सेम अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड सेम काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इट विल नॉट एग्जैक्टली वर्क आउट in that exact trajectory that he has followed or or i'm just giving an example of, or anyone has followed so i would not encourage people to just like look at some yeah you should look at them try to see what they have done in their career yeah take, take inspiration take inspirations but then matlab not making a goal of ki yaar uh-huh. mere ko mere ko ye person banna hai ya wo person banna yeah be your own person sabse pehle mm-hmm. find out karo ki main kaun hu and what is unique to me and what do i bring so i would say, uh, tell everyone to make a personal brand statement personal brand statement is basically when you intersect lot of things i think it is your uh, skills and your area of interest and the thing one more thing there was this when diagram i saw right. about how to make a personal brand there are certain questions that you can ask yourself write a personal brand statement for yourself ki what am i doing that you know that will that's going to make me unique in the world and why why and why not why do you want to be just another else. person or or just like someone else why not why not be that that you know that what is your secret sauce yeah so yeah i would say that is unique to every person so don't just follow someone and say that ah ye banna hai but yeah get inspiration but do your no, own thing i think like because of your company profiles that like, like most of them would oh this this guy is from an academy this this lady is from like you know uh, she's from cisco like i also were there there would be a lot of yeah. people who are looking up to these kind of startups right yeah. and when they see like okay he is uh, or she is like okay at this level like how do you do that like because yeah. that startup is very well known right and mm-hmm. the company is very well known yeah. so that is why i asked this question uh, like uh, if, if if to answer that then definitely you know uh, matlab focus on learning things mm. right yeah. matlab uh, if you are into software engineering fields like you know go through पीपल से कि यार डी एस एल को करना है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि यार मेरे को क्वेश्चन करके छोड़ देना है राइट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट इज गो थ्रू दैट जर्नी इट्स प्रोसेस राइट सो वेन वेन यू डू दैट एंड कंसिस्टेंटली यू नो कीप लर्निंग अबाउट थिंग्स सो लुक अराउंड पीपल लाइक लुक फॉर द पीपल अराउंड यू एंड देन सी यू नो हूम डू यू लुक अप टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल यार एक्स पर्सन है ओके आई लाइक दिस क्वालिटी इन दिस पर्सन ओ वाई पर्सन आई हैव दिस क्वालिटी इन दिस आई लाइक दिस क्वालिटी इन दिस पर्सन ट्राई टू सी एंड ऑब्जर्व कि यार अच्छा दिस गाई डू डज बेटर नेटवर्किंग हाउ कैन आई गेट बेटर एट इट वो दिस पर्सन डज यू नो ही इज रियली गुड एट लाइक लेट्स ए कोडिंग और सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम हाउ डज ई डू टॉक टू दैम राइट इफ यू जस्ट फॉलो यू नो दीज सिंपल यू नो सिंपल स्टेप्स आई थिंक इट वुड इम्प्रूव योर लाइफ डे इन डे आउट आई थिंक यू वुड गेट बेटर बी एट एन अकेडमी <laughs> no, not just me. Yeah, I can't. I think they would. They would do a lot better. Got it. Got it. Got it. So yeah. look. So I have something planned for you guys. Right? You know. Like, okay. You know. Um, I'll. So I don't know. So I just have one other thing to add. So you said like you know, and you said to not follow probably, but then you also mentioned that you like helping. early career professionals so that yeah. they don't miss make the mistakes that you make. Yeah. So if we have had to. paraphrase that question that yeah. they don't need to follow your career path hmm. but at least what mistakes would you ask them to avoid like do mm-hmm. not make yeah that right things from your journey yeah you don't be yeah. shit yeah. okay so mistakes from my, my career path i would say uh, i was um, a bit over confident at times regarding my career like regarding okay i can do i have done this much so i'll be able to do this like i would say stay humble and just learn you the way you learn is when you are at you know like like how electricity flows as well you know from a higher potential to a lower potential you have to be in that state of humbleness where you are willing that's how you learn actually if you are already filled with and don't have ego when you are learning i in, initially when i was in my tier 2 college right the people around me they kind of had this uh, feeling that okay even if they were like not as great in their academics or something they were like okay i have to project 
that mm-hmm. I am intelligent. Mm-hmm. I have to project that I, I I can do this, or they will show off and all mm-hmm. those things. I would say Imposters when you are, uh, yeah, and and that More is, like, yeah, yeah, and inside you are not confident, but you are kind of trying to be. Oh, I am the best. Or that ego thing comes right. So I would say the mistake I did was like initially probably I also had that ego, but life has the way of shattering your ego. <laughs> so life will shatter it. so be humble only in a humble state i think you'll be able to learn and grasp much better yeah so that is one thing and i becoming think. more porous yeah and being being open to it like not being very rigid to it yeah things. yeah so ask the like when i was going through your profile right i saw yeah. like you you have taken that uh, career break i i don't think so like because i have like personally when i didn't get any placement and stuff like that like yeah. i was not sitting in the placements i thought that let me take a break yeah but that was out of like you know because i don't know what to do and yeah uh, that's a fair enough reason yeah so like but i saw your career break after joining something after doing something then no i i did it after my undergrad okay. so in my undergrad i had gotten a decent enough gate rank like mm-hmm. i mentioned 2000 all india rank and i had a good sco- gate score and i qualified for a lot of nits iits as well for some of the specializations maybe not like my dream colleges or something but it was good enough and i could have just you know uh, given the interviews and i started my masters journey but somehow i wanted to do better i wanted to get a better rank so that's why i decided to take a gap year also i had an uh, offer letter with infosys in uh, uh, when i sa- i had sat for the col- college placements as well so i was a bit confused whether to go to my so you know you have that 6 months infosys training and all and uh, people say that's amazing training you should attend it i was hearing a lot of opinions actually mm-hmm. so some people were like you know go join infosys at least get some experience or uh, others like my like my parents were like more interested for me to go for masters and uh, they were actually saying that why don't you join mtech and side by side you prepare for gate and next year maybe you can go to another college or something okay. actually I, i i thought about it and uh, uh, i was i was like actually confused so many people every person you ask will have a different okay. opinion i was like just tired i was like no i can't handle so much so let me just take a gap year complete gap year so 2016 to 17 i was just preparing for my gate exam okay. and uh, Yeah, and I was just interested in learning that time, and I think that really helped me. Like I remember during my uh, MS research interview at IIT Kanpur, uh, it was about signal systems that I had studied. So a lot of that, ca- the studies that I had done, even though I didn't get an expected rank in two thousand seventeen that I was hoping for, but uh, that learning was not wasted. So in that uh, interview, I was able to perform very well, and I got an offer letter from IIT Kanpur because of the effort that I had put in that one year. So yeah, so I don't regret taking a gap year. I feel like yeah, I needed that space to just figure out what I want to do. But like many many people have this uh, that fear, right? Like yeah, when, when you're going to take a gap. would that affect my career like would they be like people normally ask mm-hmm. like what did you do in this gap right <clears throat> yeah i would say if you are someone who is not you know follows a routine mm-hmm. kind of inherently if you are not a person who is who is kind of chaotic who needs a structured routine to kind of you know like every day get up at this time do your work do this if you can't do it yourself you need some external force to do you sure. it would probably your gap year is probably not so right for you because uh, we need a bit of discipline to do it but if you if you can do it now it's a great thing you should i would say you know young children or even like young people early in their 20s if you don't have it figured out it's okay none of us do i had nothing figured out when i was 22 23 so yeah so i i'm totally for it like go for it just make sure you have a routine you have a structure because otherwise the yes. chances of going haywire getting distracted are more mm-hmm. so people who are inherently you know who follow a routine they are able to handle it yes. better okay. so when you are talking about figuring it out like in a, in your 25 right right you had it everything figured out plus by you no i i would say uh, like if someone asks me have you figured it out no. now <laughs> i will also say the same yet. even i now I also think, i don't have yeah, it figured I think out nobody has figured it out everyone is you know just yeah living life standing living life it's navigating through the life yeah. i think that's how it should be also 
uh, we should not create a lot of, you know, pressure or boundaries with respect to, you know, by this age you need to have this something and by this age you need to have something. Yeah. It's more about, you know, experiencing life. So, uh, go with the flow and things yeah. will flow through. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Like, I think like most of them like are very scared about this also, right? Like, because like everyone sees like the other person around. Yeah. And they try to I think Instagram and social media is yeah, to be blamed exactly, for like, that. Because they try to actually compare like, okay, this guy is settled now. Yeah. Like now you have seen, no, that yeah. uh, there mm-hmm. are people who have figured out stuff like, uh, for example, 20, like I was recently going through a video, uh, I think it's in the podcast of Finance with Sharon. So there were young kids, mm-hmm. Gen Z, like yeah. who is like at the age of 21, 22, who is already sorted because they are having like around two crores mm-hmm. already oh. in their banks, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah. of their because they have put in some efforts, and this kind of creates a pressure the, for the people who's watching because this yeah. is what is scrolling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they have they will be thinking like, okay, he or she is in twenty one. They have all the things sorted. Yeah. Right. That is the perception. Like that is the thing. My I, thought I, process. Yeah, I think well, this is never ending trap, right? Yeah. So for, for example, if you to take the example of the kid, right, who has already have you know two mm-hmm. CR, right, he would not be satisfied himself. Now he has created some, you yeah. know, some level, some level of, you know. Yeah, now he or, has or, to go above this. Yeah, yeah, a, a threshold. Yeah. Key, okay, Even when we were in our early 20s, we saw Mark Zuckerberg being mm-hmm. a CEO at mm-hmm. 19. We were, we also saw all that. Yeah. <laughs> that pressure is always there. It has benefit as well because it always pushes you, right? You do something better, right? However, but the, that should not, you know, take over everything. Yeah. You should, you should take that as an inspiration rather and not create a lot of pressure for you, right? And uh, as Steve Jobs mentioned also, right, you only connect dots looking backwards. You yeah, see you cannot. You, you never you know, know. Hmm. right? So, God. Yeah, I, I think I don't have that pressure uh, myself personally because I am off social media. I don't have Instagram account. I don't have uh, Snapchat or Facebook or nothing I uh, use except LinkedIn. I'm very active on LinkedIn, but apart from that, no social media. So... YouTube, yeah. I just post. No, YouTube, that, I, that's, that's where this podcast social media. is going to be. <laughs> YouTube, Shorts. I just post. Shorts. Shorts. Yeah, yeah. No, I love YouTube. YouTube is a great source of learning. So, it's not a social media. It's a video streaming platform. Yeah, so anyway, uh, the, uh, what I was getting at was that the reason I don't feel that pressure is because it's been like two years since I've been off social media. So, I, was, I, I reached a point like uh, two years ago where I was like, why am I even looking at these people and why do I need to know what they are doing every moment of their life? Like, more than half of them, I don't even know them personally. As in, like, I don't talk on the f- talk on the phone with them. I don't, uh, you know, like meet them in person. It's just some random acquaintances, some person from school, some person from this, co- you know, college or someone I met. Uh, and I was like, I'm, I'm getting all these feelings that, oh, I am behind in life because, you know, I've not reached some place where they have or they have vacationing or they are, you know, <laughs> getting married or <laughs> doing all these kind of things. Oh, maybe I am, you know, uh, behind in my life. So I realized, I don't know why I'm get- I, I myself am feeding it mm. to my brain, right? Like, why am I feeding it? So I, uh, so I kind of just decided to just go off social media and I start, it, initially it was like very sort of, you know, lonely. lonely. Immediately I felt like, oh my God, it is really, really lonely. Like, okay, I don't have as many people because Instagram gives you that illusion you have so many friends, right? So I actually really like, whom do I talk to? Like, then I realized it was like two, three people. Who I, who I know, who I know, who I talk to every day and who I meet in person. Others are just crowd. So, so I realized that and then I was like, okay, so let me just stay with that loneliness. It's nothing to run away from. So, yeah, that really helped me. So, I would say in your late 20s or even in your 20s, I would say just sit with yourself instead of drinking it away or, you know, doing other things or doing just letting your emotions just go haywire uh, and trying to escape those emotions just sit with those emotions and sit with yourself and work on your mental health eventually you will get that peace of mind like i personally uh, got into art of living i did some meditation course then i did some advanced course as well so meditation really helped me yeah. and uh, it like transformed me and i got like i used to be very very anxious so it really helped me soothe 
um, you know and i started being in nature and i used to go for the course meditation course so i met people there in person we had these kind of group activities and then you know it was like that human connection like right now i'm looking at your face i'm looking into your eyes we are actually it's a human we are connecting at a human level like most of the time when you are texting when you are mm. on instagram you just there's no connection you don't know like your through your emojis or through your text like what does the other person even mean mm. even i would say it uh, it uh, impacts your business communication so now on webex people message and people like misinterpret because they don't know with what emotion the other person is saying and some people are kind of you know in the office you will always have those coworkers who are a bit rude on text yes. but yeah. when you meet them now you're like oh i was like <laughs> thinking this person is rude mm. he is like very chill he's just the way he texts it's is a, it's a word perception. yeah yeah Because you don't get emotions with the text yeah. yeah exactly so i feel these all things now because of this millennial and gen z generation unfortunately has been impacted that is us that is our generation so we need to figure out the way how to get past it and you know get connected in the real sense yeah yeah so uh, there was like there was always this pressure of you know uh, doing something better etc even in my early 20s for to say and i always felt your time is running out mm. right this was always there but then uh, uh, the biggest the the biggest good thing that happened to me was the travel i was talking about right post that i realized the importance of you know the whole life and how the life should be full of experiences so uh, i was again like on a trip i was just sitting it was more like a solo trip and you know a thought came to my mind which is right if you just zoom out you know uh, the whole lifeline uh, of each and every individual if you you know uh, put it on a scale and if you zoom out and keep it just the earth has a lifespan of like billions of years right yeah. now now if you just zoom out only 500 years and and see your life right you come and then then you go yeah you're like right? a pop up yeah like like, <laughs> like 40 50 50 years right yeah. and then you when you see from that perspective right when you have come to this world like what is your purpose right you come to that particular question and then you would see ki there's there's nothing something called as a purpose it's 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 about you know living the life and going through those experiences so how can you have your life full of rich full experiences right so i think that's where uh, you know my perception had changed in late 20s and post that i got more into you know uh, traveling talking to a lot of people experiencing things uh i i had also joined you know dance classes music mm-hmm. classes Amazing. right so different art forms for, for for to say so i think that has changed for me recently mm-hmm. if if i were to say like in my in my late uh, so you have also days. cut out social media yeah i think this year january uh, i i had cut off from the social instagram, instagram. because uh, i i would relate to her experiences uh, so i had done like on and off Mm-hmm. uh last year and last two last year and my observation has been ki yeah when i'm continuously you know consuming it it's dopamine hit that you get yeah. and as soon as i cut off right for 2 3 days i would feel a low for 2 days yeah right you would feel thoda sa deep, uh, depressed okay. thoda sa low low in energy you know you would feel that something is off and yeah. you would feel that mm. and third day onwards you will feel so good yeah. because you are actually talking to a lot of people you are also observing yourself mm-hmm. you know you are you have more time so you are you are connecting more with life yeah right and that experience is lot better than you know uh, the the scrolling, the scrolling. So, yes so then i took a call ki theek hai this year onwards let me be just off yeah like that is it's it's more noise <laughs> yeah actually it is so much information Okay so now moving on to the next section like we have this rapid fire round right so where i will be asking couple of questions you will be have to answer it quickly so first i'll go with asta then i'll go with abhishek right so ready okay cool. sure let's do it yes you yes. should not do it okay okay so 1 2 3 go okay what's your did your definition of success change now yes it's now peace of mind okay if we go back in time what's the one thing that you would change one thing i would change one thing i would quick, 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 quick. come on uh pay more attention to my health what's your next goal next goal is lose weight lose weight okay one advice to those who are in the 20s uh uh 
it's about learn unlearning as much it is about learning mm -hmm. so uh, yeah so just <laughs> just like you know get rid of all the negativity Next. and okay What's, okay i don't want to explain what, 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 what it's you quick passion or money passion okay what is the right time to be successful there is no right time you can be successful at any time okay what would you be doing if you if you are not in your current role right now i would probably be singing i would be a, i would be taylor swift oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this, this, this demands one, one, one performance yes, yes, one, one, one song definitely <laughs> yes good good play good play so abhishek let's do it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay the definition of success change now yes it does it okay. did Okay. If we go back in time, what's the one thing that you would change? Um, I would want to have a mentor. Oh, okay, good. What's your next goal? Um, I would want to retire early and travel as much as possible. Interesting. What is the most expensive purchase that you have done? Ah, uh, I <laughs> relatively, uh, I I bought earbuds. Oh, uh, that's Bo it. Bose Bose earbuds. Okay. Uh, Got it. Yeah. One advice to those who are in their twenties. uh always focus on learning more mm -hmm. right and uh focus on right thing having positive attitude towards things would always help what would you choose passion or money uh passion passion what is the right time to be successful there's no right time same yeah, you can <laughs> what would you be doing if you're not in current road i would be traveling right oh, wonderful yeah. both did great job Yay. great job guys so we have something for here winner dog yeah 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 but 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 then demands one song yes yes yeah yes. any time yes. <laughs> oh i have to sing now yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> okay uh which song should i sing okay the world can be a nasty place you know it i know it yeah we don't have to fall from grace put down the weapons you fight with and kill him with kindness kill him with kindness kill him kill him kill him with kindness kill him with kindness kill him with kindness go ahead go ahead go ahead now whoa whoa now we have a beautiful handle for you awesome you know it's from craft and here it's one from one of our mentor oh so awesome nice. it's beautiful right oh wow nice it has everything wow <laughs> thank you so much awesome. congrats <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> well <laughs> deserved <laughs> So, oh sorry like i have something for you also <laughs> oh <laughs> what happened okay. oh yeah. Yeah. same you are yes. giving you should get oh, complimentary yeah, like, thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> this is first prize it should I, be i i need to sing for this bina mehnat ke not done <laughs> thank you so much guys like i had a great time listening to your journey and i think you have given a lot deeper insights on how you know to travel through to sort out like how you were so clear first of all like her 10 year plan <laughs> <laughs> i like I, i think i think i will have a session with you to understand how to create how, a plan. how to how i don't have a plan next next one that's what like that uh, is more like how do you have that 10 year plan or 5 year plan like how do you think about masters see they say that you know you should plan your life oh. like you're going to live forever oh. and live your life as if going to die the next day right. so i follow that <laughs> oh, that's great like no seriously like i could like you know we got to know a lot because how to climb up the ladder like what are the pressures like even if you face failures right how to overcome that like not every failures would you should go down like that but like what do you guys feel like like how was this entire this was an amazing experience from my first studio experience and coming here i'm i'm so thankful and grateful for uh, to cryo for organizing this yeah so loved it yeah Hey, yeah yeah it it was great experience like we talked about you know different journey and i think the work that cryo is doing is really amazing yeah right? you know, definitely touching millions of lives mm -hmm. right and uh, helping them to choose better and you know the topics that you guys have been choosing it's it's really yeah. incredible job amazing perfect appreciate it awesome thank you once again guys like we hope 
today's episode brought you a lot of insights and actionable you know items where how you can plan your career how you can through even if your jobs are not satisfactory how how can you change your current situation how can you refresh your current role and i think the and it was beautiful our guest explaining their experiences so that you can gain insights how they have done it it's not about just following them right it's about taking that maximum out of them and like tuning your life according to that right so and i hope like if you feel this was something very inspiring and if you feel that this has effect this has impacted you how you have to you know uh, track your career then please do like share and subscribe so thank you once again for tuning in remember whichever point in career you are keep you know keep hustling keep learning and keep connecting thank you so much peace